Before your goats have babies, don't forget to do this. Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and this here is Lily. Uh, she is our first due date which is March 26th and believe it or not you guys we are only 15 days away from our first due date. So again this is Lily and since I have her on the stand I'm gonna fill for her babies. So right about three three and a half months you can actually fill the babies um, and if you ever want to try to fill babies on your goats you're going to do it on the right side just kind of right above their um oh i feel the baby's moving right now right above their udder on their belly and sometimes you got to wake them up so the saying is lunch is on the left which is their rumen and runts are on the right the little babies are like right here and she is pretty far along so uh she's kind of chock full of babies or the babies are big anyway but yeah they're moving around at this stage in the game they can't necessarily do big old somersaults or anything but you can still feel their little elbows or hoovies and things like that moving around and it's really cool so Again, if you guys haven't felt for babies, you definitely should. How many do you think you've got, girl? There's a little party in Lily's belly. So we have not done uh, the guess how many video where we guess how many babies each uh, doe has, but here in about a week, we have their next weigh-in and measurement, and we're gonna guess how many then. So stay tuned, guys. All right, so when the herd is right around four weeks um, on average, the majority of the herd is right around four weeks before they have their babies, uh, we always, and this works for our herd, it's something we do, uh, but we always give CD and T. So this is a vaccination that prevents bacteria that lives in the soil from uh, attacking your goat, and it could literally kill them. So the C and D, and I'm gonna try not to butcher it, it's a kind of hard words, but uh, Clostridium parafringes type C and D, which again, live in the soil, um, and it can cause overeating disease or pulpy kidney disease. Now what happens is, if they overeat, then the bacteria or the food gets lodged, and then the bacteria kind of just multiplies super quickly and it's very painful for them if this does happen and can kill them pretty quickly and the t is here i'm not even showing you the t is the tetanus now probably you guys are all familiar with what tetanus is but that also lives in the soil um, so if a goat has a wound or a puncture or anything like that then the tetanus can get into their system and it can kill them very quickly uh, now tetanus is a horrible 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 thing uh, if you have ever had a goat or seen a goat or had a friend that had a goat that got tetanus uh, literally they just stiffen up um, their nervous system gets attacked and they could very rapidly die within 12 to 72 hours so uh, this is something I feel is very important so we give it to the herd the reason we're gonna give the pregnant does around four weeks before they have their babies, their CD&T is so that it actually goes through their colostrum and it gives the babies protection until they get their own shots. The CD&T that I recommend is made by the Colorado Serum Company. So one of the reasons I love this brand of CD&T is because you have the option to give it intramuscular or sub-Q. So for our does, we give it intramuscular. So what you're gonna need obviously is your CD&T and a sterile syringe and a sterile needle. I'm gonna use a 20 gauge one inch needle and obviously you're also gonna need alcohol to clean the area really well. Now again, this is intramuscular, so I'm gonna give it to Lacey in her neck. All right, so we're just gonna attach this uh, syringe and needle together. And then all um, doses are two cc's, any goat, any size, any breed, it doesn't matter. It is a two cc dose. There we go. All right, so we're gonna clean her area of the neck that we're gonna give the injection in really, really good with alcohol. Hold on, girl. All right, 
There we go. So right here in Lily's neck, it's all good and meaty, uh, is where I'm going to give the injection. All right, so move her neck back a little, put it in there, pull back to make sure there's no vessel, blood vessel, and we're good. And there you go, girl. Just like that, huh, girl? And they don't even make a peep. So it's just that easy guys. So I only have 20 more does to do. All right guys, just wanted to let you know that we have relisted some of your favorites that have been out of stock for just a bit. And one of them is our Castile bar. And this bar is made with olive oil and goat milk. And that is it. So this is an amazingly moisturizing and hydrating bar and very mild as well. And then we also have our camel and pine bar, which smells amazing and our turmeric bar. So this is our turmeric and we have a little bit of charcoal in here and turmeric is extremely chock full of vitamin E, which vitamin E helps moisturize the skin and it's an anti-inflammatory. So this is also a really, really great bar. So just wanted to let you guys know that we have tons of soaps available. There's certainly something for everybody. So go ahead on over to our Etsy shop, take a look. And other than that guys, we will see you again soon. We got white gold, we got turmeric, charcoal oats and alkanine, we got maple, we got ginger, we got Brazilian clay and lavender, and 99% have given us five stars. Salty sea, indigo and green tea. We got chocolate, we got apple, we got rose clay and charcoal. And here is a list of what our best sellers are. Uh -huh. Nothing harsh, all natural.